Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our Saving Your Disaster campaign called the Dark Event Massacre. We got 18 Dark Events, everything that you can think of from super strong advents over no concealment and closed, uh, uh, closed uh, dark market. So, we're ready for summoning of uh, the Void, a rescue operation for Colonel Maria Vos, a ranger. Uh, that was the reward of our covert ops action, which, by the way, costed us another soldier who conveniently had been captured. We're fighting against Archon Sentinels and Elite Heavies, so quite a harsh type of um, um, yeah counterforce and keep in mind the moment that uh, shit has hit the fan on those missions we are typically going to see even more nine are just going to be the beginning so when we're now going into the actual missions i am thinking whom we would want to take with us are we going in with a bang or are we kind of going to sneak our way through that is uh, the big question in one way of uh, solving this is essentially sneaking around in essentially using our Reaper here as an early indicator. We're going to lose concealment, but at the same time, everybody gets a single charge of concealment. So we could also try to do it without the Reaper and instead take uh, the Skirmisher. Difficult choice, difficult choice. I think we're going with the skirmisher because I want a bit more action um, in the actual mission. So Grave Digger it is. And let's give them AP rounds because many of uh, the enemies are very, very well um, armored at this point. So that'll be our uh, group. Uh, the skirmisher and the mech have multiple actions if needed. The specialist also has an excellent action economy, so perfect uh, team uh, for a small uh, sized operation like the one that we're currently having. Okay, we are landing. I'd be surprised to see what that high alert actually means. Okay. They have not immediately started to spot us out, which is fantastic. We're going to use our side trip conceal that we do have. It's typically used to reconceal, but in our cases, it's just used to conceal. And the other side of uh, the map. Would be right over there. It seems as if. She is kind of uh, unconscious, but that might just be the problem because uh, she's in the cell uh, there. Anyways, with high alert, uh, there, even with uh, security level one, their detection radius is quite sizable. So what we would want to do potentially is to kind of move around at the very edge. Grave Digger moves all the way over here. Good. Only nine enemies, but we don't want to be in a situation where they are spotting us out or pinning us down. Because the moment that that happens, you're typically... Firebrand on standby for evac, Commander. But as soon as she gets in range, the whole compound will go on high. Yeah, alert. you're typically we in a bad spot back, if that happens. Target, or it's an absolute emergency. Time to motor. Good, moving Overwatch. all the way across uh, the map. Hopefully, we can sneak our way through that um, camp. Will do. Well, so much for sneaking alongside that side. Attend the power. Hmm. I still think we would be spotted out if we were to jump up there. Scanning. 
Okay, well, that's intense. L luckily, the guy is moving away. I don't want to trigger anyone. The moment that you do, things are just getting more and more difficult. I go. All right, super heavy turret. There's some extra detection over here. Hmm, this here is strange. Not sure why that... That can't be the tower who's detecting over here. There might be someone standing... Hmm, that's also not possible. Here is potentially where there is someone, but I don't understand that detection right there. Okay, so far so good. Everybody's overwatching. This guy is moving away. Even better. Okay, we could theoretically grapple over there. Yeah, I told you there is another one. Okay, so that now makes a lot more sense. And there is yet another tower. Okay, so far so good. Got it covered. Again, moving all the way around here. Affirmative covering eye. We don't know where this guy is going. He's kind of closing the gap here, but the detection radius is not big enough yet. However, since uh, most of you by now, when, you're, uh, when you've watched uh, this channel for a longer time, already know how the AI works, uh, the moment that we're getting closer to the actual target, there will be an automatic desire of, of uh, the AI to put units in our way so this guy here will eventually come closer no need to ask twice moving okay let us try hmm yeah, we would definitely pull both of them if if something was to happen. Still going for Overwatch here. This guy is moving away. Hopefully the other one is patrolling away as well. Alright, for now they are safe and secure. I would need to get up here, like move up here and then start hacking. Understood, moving out. But that's easier said than done without a grappling hook. Okay, if this guy moves back we, it would actually be quite helpful for us fortunately he does not hmm. okay he blocks the entrance which we need in order to get closer moving to here would be super risky we would be exposing ourselves quite a bit but this here should generally speaking work of course he could also uh, always like turn around and start ambushing us but there isn't much i can do about uh, that if the ai wants to find us now they will if he continues to move uh, further forward i can yeah well so much uh, for that see the ai very much knows that we're here it's trying to pin us down. Moving. Yeah, 
and we are very much trying to prevent that from happening. I will go. All right, triple overwatch. The guy typically would need to move into this direction, but the AI will force him to move to here. There we go. And now he has pinned us down. Might as well. Yep, that was a forced movement to spot us out. That's the lightning reflexes. That was the extra overwatch. So that was Hunter Protocol and Overwatch from the mech. Up um, increased comm chatter in the compound. They've noticed something is up. We haven't lost the advantage yet, though. Try to avoid engaging their forces if possible. Okay, so a couple of things here. I will move. Number one. So far we haven't pulled anyone else and the only reason why I wanted to do this is because we wanted to loot and just get better into position. We can remote hack with the mech as well. Might as well reload for now and do a couple of overwatches. There's potential that another uh, individual would move in. Could happen. Unlikely though. Let's open the door and see if we can kind of cheese our way through that. Reposition. Good. Freeing up a position. Hopefully without triggering anything. I'm very mindful of the towers that are over here. That's affirmative. This should give us the ability to ranged hack. Yes, I'll there we go. And let's see. Reduces the contact cost. Uh, so that is 40 Intel right here. And this here would be an easier mission. I am choosing a harder mission, but 40 free intel. No, actually 80 free intel. Firebrand is in position and the compound is on full alert. Time to move. Time to motor. So, I wonder, we haven't triggered anything yet, but that's just a matter of time. Let's give it one more round, carefully moving without triggering anything. And I'll, I'll wait with combat um, presence. Again, I also don't want to move up here for now. Moving over here, so just in case someone comes in. Soon reinforcements will drop. Put out a distress signal and we're already picking up multiple inbound transports. I'm on the move. Okay. Enemy squad located. Oh, that's an Archon right there. Opening the door. We've got the VIP in tow. Moving to evac. I was hoping we could stabilize the VIP. But the VIP looks like we can actually work with it, right? Wrong. <sighs> Gotta pull them out. 
that will, however, reveal us. What are we dealing with? That's a Sentinel. Okay, so Overwatch based um, Archon. Physical exertion outpoint. Good. If they come a bit closer, we can Overwatch solve the situation. Next turn, we're going to pick him up and are moving out. So far, she's our scout and does a pretty good job in uh, in scouting. Lightning reflexes. That might trigger Hunter Protocol. Maybe. Yes, no. All right, the answer is it does not. Well, we got a nice little fight at our hands. Definitely the moment to overdrive. both of them almost right almost that looks like hitting both of them would be hitting both of them theoretically I don't know if it practically would do though okay so justice can we pull someone out uh, there i think we're just going to you are just... trigger him get him out of there these two are not yet uh triggered there was a chance to stun him okay should reconsider my statement they are triggered Do we have retribution? Okay, yeah, so there is a chance that this guy is already dead. If we moved, we could hit both of them with our heavy weapon. Would that be worth it, though? That's an almost secure uh, hit. That's a very good hit as well. So the answer is it potentially would not be worth it. So instead, let's go with that almost hit. If it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. Yep, it worked. Just barely though. Nice. Okay, we got a Mimic Beacon, which we potentially should use. Revival Protocol is not going to work well for us. Hmm. Yeah, this is potentially a protocol into Mimic Beacon. Gotta need more free damage at this point. 
so whiplash. There we go. It's a pretty sizable cooldown now. Don't want to pull myself uh, down there. We need the retribution shot up here. Only 75% chance to hit. That one here would be 65. Okay. The mech, on the other hand, has a good chance to kill the Archon, and we should start doing that. There we go. Sentinel it was a problem. We could combat protocol, but that would still leave us with three unchecked enemies, so we gotta uh, go with the Mimic Beacon here. A protocol. On to... On to Duke, really. And this guy has a 65% chance to kill. I would save Comet Presence, uh, though. Hmm. The alternative is Comet Presence. No. No, no, no. Well, we could do that into... Um, combat protocol which would be a hundred percent kill and that would mean a lot to not uh, to not have the chances here so yeah we're not going to take chances instead let's go with a nice little mimic beacon here that also reveals us triggers that extra enemy Hunter Protocol is countered by Lightning Reflexes. Interesting turn of events. Combat Presence. Into Combat Protocol. Which at least secures us the 100% kill here. Implaceable isn't bad. Are we just going to close the door? Make it impossible for them to hit us. No, I think that would not be a good idea. And we're already perfectly well positioned, not perfectly, but as good as you could be positioned. I would have expected retribution happens first. Okay, it happened first. It was just in the wrong order. The return fire worked out well. Just didn't hit. That was the problem. Lightning reflexes are actually countering quite a bit of what we're trying to do here. And there is the overwatch. Okay, cool. The falling down, on the other hand, is not so cool. That is... Very unfortunate. Locking and loading. Let's try to get that heavy down. So it's a battle of the plates then, is it? Okay, worked like a charm. Could we pull ourselves up? I think up here is not too bad. I like the high ground. Very good. 85% chance to hit him. Wrath would pull us up to him, but we would end up in the open I don't want that let's take our chances see very good decision making
Gremlin here to top of Gravedigger. Closing the door and Overwatch. Still having one Advent. All right, correction. We have ad additional Advents. There's even another one. And now we're dealing with reinforcements. Okay, gotta get out of here ASAP. Oh wow, there's just an additional advent. Okay, that's well, going to be nasty. We got to pick her up and got to get out of here. So we could move all the way into cover. We'll trigger that additional advent. Uh, there's one advent who's already triggered. This guy is just a matter of time until they will be triggered. We could completely get out with Gravedigger, pulling ourselves up here. Well. 75% chance of doing that. My concern are the reinforcements that are coming in. Because that's going to suck and we have too many hit points to chew through. Can't fully charge out, um, charge out of here. Can, however, remain in a semi-safe spot over here and then essentially moving out. So maybe the play is to call it a day. This would trigger an attack of opportunity, uh, an overwatch shot though. Let's pull over here and then just boogie out. So we're, we've now triggered two additional enemies, but they are not in a position to hit us if we position ourselves right. So Okay, fantastic. So that is that. We can even get the mech out if we wanted to. Moving to over here. Not enough. Not enough movement to get completely out of out of line of sight. This guy could hit us. So maybe the right play is to position ourselves here and then just try to take this guy down. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, that's a, that's a good chance that we could do that. And this here would be out of line of sight of all of the others. I stand corrected, it would not.
Okay. We're going to take some hits, but we will be able to recover. Yeah, it was the right decision to go and not take the fight. We're not having the action economy to deal with that many enemies, and the problem is more reinforcements will be coming in. And with Undying Loyalty, you even get get more... Uh, mm, yeah, get uh, get more hit points. Every single advent essentially has a 50% chance to also be a zombie, and that will take even more time. So we got a few. We got a few Overwatches here. Taking fire over here. Fire spreading. So that's two Overwatches, three Overwatches should be fine though. Let's maximize our chances of actually running through the overwatches by sprinting. Yeah, luckily our four armor is more than good enough to withstand a few blows. That'll take some repairs, but we're going to be fine. And last but certainly not least, let's just get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it turned out to be more difficult uh, than expected, mainly due to the incredibly buffed uh, um, Advents. If you think about it, Advent, uh, ABA already buffs Advents, then on top of that you do have about 10 to 12 uh, Dark Events that also buff the Advents, so I can understand why he was struggling with that uh, setup. Good, we're not getting, uh, getting any promotions here, we were already... Oh no, wait, well, just when I say that, I was wrong. Sacrifice, protect the field or Nova blasts nearby units. I like the protect the field a lot. Uh, the energy blast isn't bad either, but typically we're not in range for that. So sacrifice field it is. We got repair, so that unit is very much usable. And we got the Colonel Ranger. So all of that hardship that we went through Still was worth it, because where's our Colonel Ranger? Here, Knuckles. Seems like a badass. Bladestorm, Untouchable, Reaper, Implaceable. Yep. I would not go Reaper, I would go Rapid Fire. Uh, because that's just a much better skill. But yeah, we, we are going to put the next... Um, XCOM APs that we do have right into her. She's going to be our main ranger for that campaign, setting her up for success. Okay, then on another note, uh, are we getting are we getting those light weapon fragments? Light weapon fragments, still 16. We haven't gotten a single one. Okay, well, apparently we need kind of supply raid missions for that. For a few years up the central, right? Plus my lance needs to finish, and then we're going to also research the heavy um, blast weapon. Good. We could now make contact uh, here for even cheaper intel There's nothing quite like providing identification to a lamp post wait 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 it should be half of that make contact 80 80 no 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 something isn't right contact here 80 we had a hack that allowed us to easily or cheaply make contact yeah, maybe it has just taken that region here yeah it seems to be that one there is no tower here and no tower here yeah, so it should be 160 it's only 80 not really what i was hoping for we do have our tower here and we want to get africa back so 
We're actually going to farm Intel now. <clears throat> this campaign is in the gutters. It will take some time to uh, kind of regain a momentum. All right, accepting a transmission. Where do we stand? He did quite a bit in order to help them. But look at that. We even have a dark uh, event penalty for less income. So what are we dealing with? I'm going to deal with him soon. Oh, <laughs> additional dark event. I see. That's fantastic. 100% increase uh, all of the intel costs. That would be harsh. Very, very harsh. And the hidden events, it's difficult as well. Okay, so... Supply drop by 15% increased, not needed. If we compare that with getting sergeants right away, we're going to take sergeants right away. That's not even a question. This here is a fantastic one. Uh, it's much better than the ability points. The ability points are great as well, don't get me wrong. Um, so we're potentially going to do that um, because having a kind of a kind of an, uh, a reduction for all of those to one round is great. So what else does he have? Uh, contact immediately is good. Experimental ammunition uh, instantly. That's uh, fine, but not the end of the world. Black market costs, yeah. That's not important anymore, is it? All knowledge reduced by 33%. Yeah, I can see why he picked those two. Uh, ability costs, psionic attacks will cause uh, damage. The feedback isn't isn't bad. Uh, so that one here is good as well. Unit gains three mobility. Uh, that'll help us with timed missions a lot. Uh, it's actually underrated, uh, underrated. I like lightning strike. And I'm considering if it's better than uh, the ammunition. Um, I'll pick it uh, for now. We can, you can always kind of do ammunition expert afterwards, but we need combat strength. As good as done. We need combat strength for now. Staff has been recovering from wounds. That's great. So, where do we put him? I would say right here. We got no items yet in the queue, but that will change soon. Oh, wait, and we also have no more room for expansion. So, might as well put him here. Very well. So, that would give us enough to conquer the entire world now the one thing that i will say which we could use are more recruits uh, so although it costs 80 per recruit i still think there is merit in recruiting and getting some more sergeants <clears throat> just to fill up the roster And whilst we're doing it, we are greeted with another mission. Scientist, not bad. Encounters a hidden event. I like the loss here because that would mean it's a relatively easy mission. Protect the device. Yeah, screw that. Not happening. And neutralize field commander. I think we'll, we want to counter that one. I hate alien cipher. And it would make the recovery much more difficult. Plus, there is an engineer in here. Only a sector at Prime. That's good. Spectre Prime, we can deal with that as well. Yeah, I think we're going to go for that mission. All right. Fantastic. Kind of brings us to the end of uh, this episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy the content, leave a like uh, down below. And uh, see you, hopefully, in the next episode. 
consider supporting the channel by also writing a comment uh, that helps the YouTube algorithm. And I see you in the next Dark Event Massacre episode. Bye bye.